Hey, there we go, we're in. Choked it down. Absolutely choked it. Hi folks, welcome back to the River Foss Fishing YouTube channel. We're back out on the River Foss looking for more perch now. I've got a bit of a taste for it. So I'm just trying to see if I can catch them really consistently. The last video we did hook into that pike which unfortunately broke us off. So I did a little bit of research on the internet and found a Savage Gear blog post by one of their sponsored anglers who has a pike proof rig. So it's basically a piece of steel wire that we've got some trace and hook on there and then the fluorocarbon leader at the bottom with the drop shot weight on. So if a pike does grab this we're not going to crack off like we did last time. I'm going to lob out here under this bridge and see if we can hook into anything. If not I'm going to shuffle down, move down the bank and keep trying loads of really good perchy looking spots. a lot of little roach and stuff in this pool so what means is we have to pull it out right before <laughs> the weeds <laughs> rigged a couple of times now and I've just re-rigged again because the pike proof rig is not really working for me I'm just not getting any hits so I've re-rigged back to a more classic drop shot rig fishing a little fake worm on the hook so uh, let's see if this can get us some bites yay we're in Well, this is not a big fish, but it's the first of the day falling to the worm lure on the drop shot rig there. So we're going to slip this guy straight back and see if we can find a slightly larger one. Missed. We'll get that one though. Hang on. There you go, one's come back. Two's come back. Hey, there we go, we're in. Scoop. Well, this is the second perch we've caught now on the worm rig as well. Again, not an enormous one, but a really nice, darkly coloured fish. And I'm quite happy to have two in one session now. Starting to put a little string together. Let's get this guy back in the water. Yeah, we're in. Nice little perch. Took it as soon as it hit the water there. <sighs> choked it down. Absolutely choked it. There we go. A really nice 
another little perch. Let's get this guy back. Well, I managed to avoid the rain by hiding under that last bridge until it stopped. It was torrential and absolutely out of nowhere, but suddenly the sun is out again and it's really nice and warm. So who knows what is going on with this weather. Uh, I've just put a new little bait on, so it's like a little kind of silverfish imitation minnow type thing uh, that you rig sideways to give it really nice flap in the water. So I'm going to cast that out under this bridge and just see if any perch are at home under here. Yes, we're into a nice perch. I'm not ready at all. Let's get him in. There we go. Well, I can see why people like drop shotting. There is another absolutely amazing perch. I think this one is the biggest of the day. Came from under the bridge just as I was retrieving back. Thought nothing was going to take it, and this guy slammed it, and we were in. Absolutely brilliant stuff. We'll get this guy back in the water for a quick rest, and then we'll slip him back to his weedy, watery home. Well, I had one nice little perch from just under that bridge, but then nothing else. So I'm on the move again to see if we can find another spot. This might be the last one of the day, I'm thinking, because it's gonna get very muddy um, after this kind of next pool. And I'm not really equipped with that today. I'm just in my trainers um, and it's gonna be very, very slippery. So um, yeah, we'll have to see what happens. frustrating because I just saw two really nice fish down there but they're just not hitting it yet. Well, over the course of the session, I managed to bag about six perch, I think, in the end, which was absolutely brilliant. It was loads of fun switching between all the different baits to find out exactly what the perch in the river foss down here like to eat. The sun is also coming up just as we're ending, unfortunately, but you cannot complain about today's fishing. Hopefully in the future, I'll be taking this method to some bigger rivers in search of some slightly larger perch. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Please remember to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. And as always, see you in the next one.